Hey, what's up, guys? It's Deathstalk Sticker here with another Rainbow Six video. I just want to drop some quick tips to assist you with when you load up the game for the very first time. So let's get started. As soon as you arrive at the main menu, toggle down to the tutorials and watch all three tutorials. Now, if you don't want to, you don't actually have to watch all three of them. You can skip them. It's not actually necessary to watch the full video. After they finished, or after you skip them, you'll be rewarded with 200 renown for each one. Renown is the currency you'll need to purchase operators, weapons attachments, and some weapon camels, and this will help you with the second tip, which is use your new renown for the tutorials to purchase new operators to use in multiplayer. Remember to choose wisely because each operator is unique. Each one can only use one to two weapons and has a special gadget that no other has, but there cannot be two of the same operator deployed in the same match. Next, if you have one, activate your renown booster. While you're still at the main menu, look at the top left corner of the screen. Depending on your platform, you'll see a small menu and a button indicating how to open it. For example, on the PlayStation 4, it's the touchpad. Once you've opened it, scroll down to boosters and activate your one day booster. In my case, I didn't have any boosters even though everyone starts with one. If that's the case, just navigate over to the in game store and purchase a booster with your R6 credits. It's really the best use for this premium currency. Each one day booster increases the renown you earn in game by 50%, but you already have a 10% booster already applied to your character. This puts you at 60% renown boost, but it gets better. For each person in the squad that has a boost, everyone in their squad earns 10% more renown, and if the whole squad has boosters, you'll earn an additional 5%. That means if you're running a squad of 5 people, all running boosters, you're earning each 95% more renown for each match. Depending on your performance, you can earn over 1,000 renown in a single game and purchase two new operators. Now it's time to get into a match. When you're ready, select multiplayer and then do not select ranked. Start off in casual. Ranked has a minimal HUD setup and it's where all the organized squads are playing. You still earn experience and renown in each one, but casual, as the name suggests, is much more approachable for beginners. There was not a recruit lobby, so you can and should play this even when you're on more experience. You should also expect that some really good players and squads are also in casual. I only suggest rank play if you're playing with friends and or using a mic. Which brings me to the next tip. Use a microphone, even if it's to tell your teammates that you only have one operator so can you get first dibs on them. Communication in Siege is more critical than any other FPS. Any melee locations, callouts for tossing frags and detonated charges, it all requires communication. And if you see others with microphones, be sure to talk to them a bit. Your goal is to befriend them so that you can have a trusted teammate watching your back. Eventually, you're able to run a full squad and you can enjoy the perks of the 95% boost. Or if you're in a squad, matchmaking will be much faster because you don't have to wait for the system to find other teammates. Alright, that's it for the tips, but I will be releasing more tips videos and even more gameplay in a bit. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to be the first to know when the videos go up. If you want, you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. The info is right there on screen, and as always, also in the description below.